Good morning, disciples, and welcome to today's Mass, which is Thursday, the fifth week of Lent. Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. We always gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Christ does offer us many covenants. We all need to listen to them and hear the promises God makes to us. God also promises to forgive our sins if we are contrite and we ask for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in you. In your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, you are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram, your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you, and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response this day, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God throughout the earth. His judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into Abraham and by his, and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. 
but it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Covenants are a powerful thing. We make covenants all the time. I, I'm reminded this morning of the marriage covenant. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, for sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. If you think about it, that's the same promise that God makes to us. Because you know, in the wedding covenant, the couple is making that covenant together, but the only way that we can promise that to another person is because God infused us with the ability to love and to care for others. He shows us the way each and every day to how to do this covenant. Yet we fail. We fail because we don't see the purpose. We don't see the outcome. We fail to see the final, uh, the final destination of this covenant. Abraham reminds us that this beautiful covenant that God was made with us, he makes all these promises to us in Genesis. And my friends, God does not change his promises. All we have to do is learn them and live by them and ask for forgiveness when we fail and return to the covenant. Brothers and sisters, keeping in mind of God's love and care for us, we now offer these prayers. That Christ may continue to strengthen the faith of the church leaders in their work to witnessing the gospel this Lent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are elected to lead nations and peoples may be guided by the just hand of God in all their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may give comfort to those who struggle with chronic illness or pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Lenten practices may be inspired by Jesus' own prayer and fasting. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may bless all of our faithful departed and grant them eternal rest with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention, we're especially praying for Tommy and Gladys Norris of St. Thomas' intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now for own prayers, my friends, that we bring with us this morning to offer to God our Father. For all these things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of covenants old and new, hear our prayer and grant all that we need. For we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, become the share in the divinity of Christ, you hold out to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings, 
that they may profit for our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today, let's pray the first Eucharistic prayer for various needs and occasions. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when once, as for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, most merciful Father, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, as we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs and all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him. 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, my friends. God bless you as always. Take care, and I love you very much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, bow your heads for today's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended, let us go, my friends, in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.